Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Cop.0. I uh, haven't done an episode in a while now. Um, we've been doing some work on what we would like to play in Modern since the uh, banning of Bloodbraid Elf and uh, Seething Song because that kind of changed the metagame a little bit and we'll talk more about that. But today we are doing a uh, standard daily event with uh, kind of a, a version of Dark Bant. The only black splash in here is for our Nathalia Drownyards, and um, we've been having a lot of success with Merciless Eviction, so you see two in the main board and one in the sideboard. This is one of the cards at a gate crash that I think is quite underrated right now, and a lot of people consider it unplayable, and I'm, I'm, it's been much better than Terminus for us with um, how how versatile it is being able to exile uh, enchantments, artifacts, and planeswalkers, and it usually does just exile all creatures, but um, having the option of e exiling their detention spheres or key runes or something like that is also very relevant, uh, or planeswalkers is a big one too. Uh, we have, a, I'll go over some of the differences in the deck. We're running Syncopate over Dissipate just because I'm expecting kind of a, an aggressive metagame, and I'd rather be able to cast this for two than kind of potentially be uh, land screwed on a dissipate, not having the double blue. Uh, we also have a one of Selesnia Charm over our fourth t think twice. Uh, this is also because uh, aggro, this kind of acts as a little codal, just putting a 2-2 into play and getting in front of a Geist or a Burning Tree Emissary or something like that. And it, um, the other primary reason is Obzidot has been a bit of an issue for this deck, and so Selesnia Charm is a nice little main deck answer to that. Other than that, the deck is pretty much the same. You can see we're using Psychic Spiral as kind of our answer to control, and we're also running a Jace Memory Adept. Um, we have Witchbane Orb to deal with uh, Jund, and I'm guessing we're also going to side this in against um, Mirror Matches, any kind of control mirror, just shutting off their Drown Yards and their Psychic Spirals and their Jaces and whatnot. Um, Pithy Needle is also kind of a catch-all on a lot of activated abilities, but yeah, this is the deck, and we're going to go ahead and run it, so I'll see you guys in round one. Alright, here is round one, and we lost the die roll, so we're on the draw, but this is not a mulligan new. No. Let's see what we're up against. Forest Arbor Elf. Alright. Could mean a lot of things. So, Sun Petal is not a bad top deck. Domri Raid. Plenty of four. Alright. Uh, let's go ahead and run that auger out there. See if we can hit anything. Let's see, Sphinx's Revelation, Sphinx's Revelation, Azorius Charm. Hmm. We already have an Azorius Charm. We have a Supreme Verdict, so I kind of want to take the Sphinx's Revelation just for later on, because we're going to need one later anyways. So yeah, we'll just take it. It's kind of a late game plan, and I know we're on the draw, and he's you know has a reasonable curve right now, but once we verdict him, I think things are going to get much better. I also mold the six, so... Maybe that's a little bit greedy. I'd like to draw a land. Probably just going to chump this flint hoof four. Let's see what he does. I mean, if he like rancors it, I don't know, we might change our play a little bit. decision here. Right. Bash. Um, I kind of want to just jump this. Alright, Gorklan Raven. 
Rampager. Yeah. I don't really want to pain for two. At the same time, Augur doesn't do a ton for us, so... Um... I kind of want to just throw another Augur out there. The problem with that is, it's like we really need to hit a land drop next turn, otherwise we're just kind of fucked. Well, we're not fucked, but... Um... So we could just Azorius Charm, put something back on top, and then he's going to draw that, but the problem is then we can't Supreme Verdict. So I think just running out the Augur here again is the right play. Mm, we already have a Revelation, I'll just take a thing twice. Hellrider would not be very good for us, because that would be, assuming he tags with the Arbor Elf, that would be 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, increasing savagery. Um, okay, well we're taking 9, I'll go ahead and chump here, because if we do draw the land, we're just going to wrath this board. Um, but if we don't draw a land, ooh, it's painful land. Um, I think we're just going to go ahead and Verdict anyways. I'm not going to be able to cast this Increasing Savagery for a while, so assuming he doesn't have any hasted dudes, um, we, sh we should be alright. I mean, but there's plenty of them. There's like Flint Hoof 4, Hellrider... So, we just need to untap here, and then Azorius Charm is very nice. Um, we need to see land, so we need to get these Think Twices rolling. Burning Tree Emissary. Alright. Lightning Mauler? That'd be bad. Not sure what he's doing with that mana, but we'll see here shortly. Nothing. Alright. Land. Yeah, that's a land. I actually just added this to the deck because I wanted an extra black source, and there it is. Um, I think. You know, it's funny. Every single Thrag Tusk I've ever played, I've always considered... Well, not always, but... I mean, sometimes you just slam Thrag Tusk because you need to. But a lot of times you're like, should I just play Thrag Tusk? And usually the right plan is always just to play Thrag Tusk. <laughs> oh, you got a Core Clan Rampager. That's nice. So I kind of want to swing at that Domri. This Domri, so we'll go ahead and do that. That white and need a blue. Get rid of Domri. Yes, I would like to use the ability. So he has a Gore Clan that we know of, which he's probably just going to play here. And if he does that, we're just going to think twice into turn. Look for more lands. We don't. You really don't want to be missing land drops in this deck. And one of my favorite things about this deck is it it does a very good job of never missing its land drops since it's running 26 lands and then four Zorius Charm, three through Think Twice, and Far Seeks. And, and Far Seeks don't really help you hit land drops, but they do help you get lands out there faster. Hey, buddy. <laughs> 